So dementia, Alzheimer's disease, is a terrible problem. I mean, obviously, it's most of a problem for the people who suffer the condition themselves because they lose their memories. In a sense, they lose a little bit about what it is to be themselves. And it's a problem for families. Families are the main carers of people with dementia. And it's very distressing. Many family members talk about it as a living bereavement, almost as though that person that they knew and loved all their lives is no longer quite the same. There are very large numbers of people with dementia, and those numbers are growing all the time as people live longer. And that makes a huge problem for the UK. Currently, we think there are about 800,000 people with dementia in Britain, and that's going to rise to more than a million by 2025. And that costs a huge amount of money in looking after these people. It's estimated something in the region of £17 billion per year, which, astonishingly, is more than the costs of cancer and heart disease combined. If we want to do something about this terrible problem that affects such huge numbers of people and affects the economy, then I think we need to invest in research. And research is, holds great promise at the moment. We're making really rapid progress. But that research needs to continue. We need continual investment in that research, both from the public and from government as well. So my own research is in, is in two parts, really. On the one hand, we're trying to understand the basic mechanisms of dementia to try and find new treatments. And for nearly 20 years now, I've been working on a course of research trying to understand a particular protein. And I can't tell you how pleased I am to see the results of that research beginning to become practical, beginning to make a difference the first trials of a drug based on that research are starting this year. The second bit of research that I'm doing, funded by Alzheimer's Research Trust, is on biomarkers, that is tests for Alzheimer's disease and other dementias. We need to have better ways of diagnosing the condition. We need to pick it up earlier before the condition has really got to its grip on the brain. The reason why we need to do that is because introducing these new treatments that I think we might be seeing in the next five or ten years will be dependent upon us being able to identify it ever earlier. And for that, we need biomarkers. Our research was started by the Alzheimer's Research Trust, and then we've had funding from the MRC, and we're working closely with companies as well, both small biotech companies, one called Proteome Sciences in this country, and large multinational biomarker companies that bring the wealth of their experience to this. So we're making really rapid progress. The next two or three years are going to be very testing because we need to move from looking at a few hundred people, which we've done up to now, to looking at many, many thousands of people. Will we ever have a treatment that could take somebody with very early memory problems and slow down the progression of their disease, perhaps even stop it altogether so that they don't get dementia. Yes, I think that's possible. That's what we're working towards and there's a number of treatments in clinical trials that might just do that. You can't do the research without money. You can't do more research with less money and we need more funding and I think that the scientific world, the community that I live in, the scientific community, is now able to do the kind of research that will yield treatments. We really desperately need the funding.